This is Victoria. This is Vancouver Island. Our first stop on this adventure is Government House. The Lieutenant Governor represents the Queen in Canada and holds the highest rank in the BC government. And each province has its own Lieutenant Governor. And we're here to walk around the grounds as well as mark one location of the Adventure Lab Victoria City of Gardens. The gardens here at Government House are beautiful. Rolling hills, lots of rocks. And a kind of a, an oak savanna, which is a protected area, and a very unique ecosystem. And it has a beautiful view overlooking the sound and over to the state of Washington. The climate is so unique here and so mild, it could even support the growing of palm trees. Now that is cool. As we continue our tour, we're here at Anderson Hills with a beautiful overlook with Washington State in the distance. From on top of Anderson Hill, we descend down to the sea level to a little islet or two earth caches. Let's go take a look. We have some loud Canadians just off the screen here putting in their two cents worth. But we got the answers to this earth cache, which is about a tombolo. And a tombolo is a narrow spit of land that joins a little islet just offshore where I'm sitting now enjoying the view. Got the answers to the second earth cache, and we're good to go to the next location. And be careful on the rocks, they're very slippery. Here's a photo I took as I slipped on the rocks. So far we've done earth caches, virtual caches, and adventure labs but we have yet to find one with a physical location. And that brings us to our current location, the cemetery and a mystery cache. And this mystery Ooh. cache is just a bit different because it's an intercache. An intercache? What's an intercache? An intercache is a new way of creating a mystery geocache, similar to a where I go geocache. The biggest difference is that the entire geocache can be developed, edited, and played on your mobile phone's browser with no software to download. Ooh. Let's check it out. To the first location, now we can press the button to move forward to the next stage. That's all you have to do is press the button? Yeah, that's it. Wow, that's easy. But you still have to answer a question. Yeah, it's much like uh, stringing a bunch of virtual caches together. Yeah. Almost like today's Adventure Lab. <laughs> and on this stage, we just had to look around the obelisk to find the answer. Everybody's going virtual. Mm -hmm. Our next destination takes us to the gravestone of Billy Barker. On August 17, 1862, Mr. Barker made the biggest strike of the Caribou Gold Rush. Barkerville 
the Gold Rush Boomtown was named after him. And that is a fabulous tourist destination to go to. It is well worth the visit. Check out Barkerville. This marker is a recreation of a common headboard used at the time of Isabel Ross's death. One of the most famous grave sites here at the cemetery is for Emily Carr, author and noted artist. It took a bit of searching, but we got it. Yeah, it was buried down below where I was looking, but we finally got it. What an adventure going to all these neat. Yeah, it yeah. was really a nice walk through the cemetery yeah. and you got to see all the stones it, and uh, all the learn history. a lot. Yeah, it's very cool. Thanks for the geocache. That was a really cool tour through that cemetery. Oh yeah, I enjoyed that. Yep. On our next adventure though, we're gonna have a surprise tour. Oh. A surprise. So you'll have to tune into that next week on Cash Canada. But don't forget this coming Wednesday, <gasps> one, one minute, minute Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll have a really special cache from here in Victoria. Woo. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you?